My name is Jane Riley Gambrell and I'm the Executive Director of Communities and Schools of the Charleston area. My passion is the children and the students that we work with every day and the mission of Communities and Schools. Along with that, we have an incredible staff and board that is such an honor for me to work with on a day-to-day -day basis to try and improve the lives of the children within the Communities and Schools program. Jane does not settle for adequate, and I think that that really speaks a lot to uh, the magic that is Communities and Schools. Our staff who are out there in the schools um, doing the direct service, and I think that that's very important. She cares about the children and she cares about the county and the area that she comes from because she is a Charleston-born resident. It's really difficult to find the right words to explain the tremendous compassion, passion, commitment, and dedication that Jane has to children, youth, and families in this community. And it certainly is evidenced in the work that she has done over the years, not only building capacity and sustainability for the Communities and Schools program, but also building that same partnership and relationship with other agencies in the community. I would say that Jane is, uh, is a consummate professional. Children are important to her, and that's why this job is so perfect for her. And I think that's why she has succeeded so well in the job. She works hard to get not only the staff at CIS, but uh, the board, the volunteers, all working in the same direction of bringing better support to the children of our area. Well, Jane is a remarkable nonprofit leader because she really has done a phenomenal job of making sure that her organization has stayed consistent to their mission. Their mission is dropout prevention. And she is the type of leader that doesn't have a lot of fanfare, but instead has really built the reputation of her organization based on their outcomes, and they're just phenomenal. Being the recipient of this award is so humbling to me. I am deeply honored to have been considered and to have been selected. There are so many wonderful women in the nonprofit arena, and for me to have been selected um, as this year's recipient is just a dear honor to me. Hi, Jane. I want to take this opportunity to publicly um, thank you for everything you've done for communities and schools, to congratulate you on winning this award, the 2013 Trident United Way Women in Leadership Award. We all here at the office think that you definitely deserve it. We're so happy that you are getting this award and I want to thank you for um, letting me be part of the magic that is CIS because when I am out there and I tell people I'm for, I work for communities and schools, I only hear great things and uh, your leadership speaks very highly to how we are received in the community. So thank you. Jane, you have been an inspiration. You've been a role model for me and I am what I am and the success that I've had and the position that I've held with the city in the Mayor's Office for Children, Youth and Families, I attribute to you and your mentorship and the support that you've given to me throughout the past 15 years that we've known and worked together. I am so thrilled, I am so proud of you and you are most deserving of the Women in Leadership Award. Congratulations. Jane, I want to uh, congratulate you for winning this award. It is one that uh, is certainly uh, due to you. You have been an inspiration for many over the years. Uh, the success of communities and schools, uh, the success in helping the uh, disadvantaged and at-risk youth of the of Charleston area has all been achieved because of of you and the inspiration that you have given to both the employees of the communities and schools and the board and the volunteers. And uh, you've just done an absolutely fabulous job. Congratulations, Jane. I am so happy that you're being recognized uh, with this honor. 
You are truly a great nonprofit leader and we all love you very much.